The class that you are seeing is a combination class. It is AP Studio Art 3D. It is also Advanced Glass and Metal Smithing 2 and 3. So it's a combo class of advanced high level students in the art department. So in today's class, it was a typical work day. So for the most part, students are working deep in a specific project of their area of focus right now. So AP students over the course of the year develop a thematic focus that is to their specific interest. So the students that are working with clay are the AP students. They are independently designing, sketching, planning, and creating their unique vision. So they're using their class time to work towards enacting this vision with their sculptural objects. The um, metals two and three students are working on complex multi-piece soldering projects. So they are using soldering techniques to create small sculptural and functional objects using metal. For the whole AP Studio Art portfolio, we have to create 12 to 15 pieces, um, 12 under your investigation topic, and then a couple pieces that just represent like your work, like your best work. They don't necessarily have to fall under your investigation. The current project I'm working on in this class is a skeleton, and I'm highlighting like the ribs and adding the element of plant growth, such as mushrooms and moss, so more of a swamp feel for the skeleton. Every year, I just want to see every student grow. Um, depending on where they start, I work with them to individually set goals. So wherever they start at, as long as they're achieving and learning, that is something that makes me happy. Um, specifically in AP students, they're working across an entire year and part of the goal is that they're developing and experimenting. So not only are they advancing their skills to make more complex, more detailed work, but they're also expected to do some sort of experimentation. So trying something new, stepping out of their comfort zone is something that I really care about when they're envisioning and working with their different pieces. When I'm planning my project, my process is is to kind of look around on the internet at other projects. Um, kind of, I kind of think of a specific area, what I want to do, what kind of plants I want to bring into this project, how I want to re represent the human form. Then I sketch it out and once I start actually touching the clay and molding it, I kind of get a better idea of what I can and what I want to do. So then I might tweak my sketches a little bit and then from there I just keep adding on and creating it. So the structure of that class is very, I would say, active and dynamic. So it's a lot of movement for me and it's a lot of pivoting between different thoughts and ideas. Um, the good news is in AP Studio Art, students work in ceramic, but they also work in metal. So I'm used to having students working in both media simultaneously. Um, for the most part, it's about meeting students where they're at. I see art as something that can enhance your life for the rest of your life. So I always say to my students, as you get older, you work and you start to feel the need to have hobbies. And that's the time when you can start to think about art and incorporating art again into your life. You get busy, right, when you're in college, you have a lot going on, but it's something that can be there for you forever. Like, 